Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking the time to spice up the brand new LEGO Star Wars Ultimate Collector Series Republic Gunship. Also known as an LAAT or a Low Altitude Assault Transport. Classically, this thing here would bring up to 30 clone troopers into a battle. They'd all be right in here and they'd hop out and they'd be like, yes sir, we're ready to go, right? But this set only came with two minifigures. We have Legendary Jedi Master Mace Windu and also a Clone Trooper Commander. So today, we're gonna to be taking the time to add all of the figures in which we can jam into this set. So we're gonna be jamming a whole cluster of minifigures in here and just sort of have some fun with it. So let's get started. So I pulled a bunch of minifigures from our base plates over here on the shelves by some of our LEGO Star Wars UCS sets to populate our gunship. You can see they sit on the 32 by 32 white base plates here. And then I also have a bunch of stormtroopers, actually over a hundred of them, on uh, some of these base plates over here as well, just below the UCS Imperial Shuttle and also TIE Fighter. All right, so here we go. We've got the LEGO Star Wars UCS gunship loaded full of minifigures right over here leading the charge. we got Anakin Skywalker and also Mace Windu. Got a bunch of 212th troopers in there and also the 501st troopers in there as well. Sort of loaded from side to side on all available studs. Clearly it's not minifig scale, but I think it's a lot of fun to put the minifigures in there, right? There you go. You've also got some in this opening right over here on both sides. And I've stuck a trooper in the spherical turret on this side as well. That's like the generic trooper when they were first introduced. No colors on their armor. And I've got two of the 212 troopers in here in orange. That's actually the clone trooper commander right there from the set. And then a different guy in there as well. They fit pretty nicely, actually, in the cockpit, which is beauty. So if you want to put a couple figures in there, it's not bad. Obviously, you don't need to put this many in, like, the cabin of the ship. It's pretty jammed. Those red tiles there prevent you from being able to fill the space. I could have popped them out to fill it even more. Let's take a look at the other side. So you've got a 501st Trooper in this spherical turret on this side. A little bit difficult to fit them in there. He can clutch on to like the trigger there or the little handle that's in there, no problem. But these guys just fit beautifully once again, they're awesome. Hard to put them into these spheres on the wings. Once again, same on this side. But we've just got them all clustered within here. And it looks pretty sweet. Like I like it, even though it's not designed for that, I definitely do like it. I might consider removing some of those red tiles and switching them out for red plates so that we can permanently put a bunch more troopers in here. So when it's on display, you just see it loaded full of troopers. So we got a bunch more of the 501st on this side and then also Ahsoka there as well. Very cool. So there's the Lego Star Wars gunship. UCS version with minifigures loaded within. Just thought we'd have some fun with that today. Let me know what you think by commenting below. Are you going to put minifigures in yours? Or are you going to sort of just leave it how it's supposed to be? Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on the channel. Take care.